Hey guys, today I'm planning for March in my bullet journal, and as you've likely already noticed, this video is rather short. I kept my March setup as minimal as possible because March is a pretty hectic month for me. It's the main month of track season, and I have a meet every weekend and every Thursday, so I have a lot going on, and I wanted to make it as easy as possible for myself to keep up with the different headers that I do for each day if that makes any sense. Also, the aesthetic reminds me to keep things simple and stay focused on what really matters. The only extra decorations that I have in this setup are this doodle of plants in a teacup, which is very, very heavily inspired by an artist who I saw on Redbubble. The artist's name is Pinga Penguin, and I will link them in the description below. I drew this circle around it with the March title. I'm not really happy with how I drew this circle. It wasn't the neatest ever. But hey, you probably can't really see where I messed up, so that's the magic of the internet for you. And now I'm using a bunch of different green Crayola markers to color in the leaves on these different plants. Beneath the teacup, I did a calendar for March, and the main style that I'm using is really thin text that's spaced out quite widely and a thicker line underneath the main header. Now I'm using a grey mild liner to add in some shadows on the cup, and now after fixing the brightness, I'm moving on to the right side of the spread. As usual, I'm starting off with my video planner for the month. I drew quite a weird little video icon, but hey, we're just gonna move along, embrace it as the quote that I'm lettering for this month will advise me to do, which is, now that you don't have to be perfect, you can be good. I'm doing this with mono spaced all caps, and this was the point when I realized that I had messed up counting, so these were not centered. Despite being an AP Calc, I still can't count. But I just used my gray mild liner to extend some of those words so it still looked balanced even though I had messed up. Underneath this quote, I am setting up a sleep tracker for this month, since my sleep patterns have been kind of weird this semester so far, so I wanted to use this tracker to encourage myself to sleep in a better way, hopefully sleep more, but at least in a more consistent pattern. Now moving on to the second spread. This one is a combination of the 9 for 2019 tracking that I've been doing, and my journaling setup. I've really enjoyed using both of these setups in my previous two spreads from the year, but this time I decided to save some space by combining them into one double page setup. I'm carrying on the simple line theme that I've been using throughout, and you can't see so well right now, but right now I'm dividing the page into five different horizontal sections, one for each Sunday in the month, which is the day when I sit down and reflect on the week. On the left, I have three columns for the three goals I'm working on this month, and the right is just blank lines to journal. And I'm going back to this side and adding in those bolder lines that I forgot to do earlier. And now, this is my completed setup for March. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more videos about bullet journaling, I will have some linked on the screen and in the description. I upload new videos every Monday, and you can see pictures of my bullet journal among other things on my Tumblr and Instagram, which are both at StudyQuill. See you next time!